All right, in this video, let's take a look at the pros and cons of the Chiefs trading for wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins versus re-signing wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, and then see which move if either the Chiefs should, in theory, make. But first, how about those? All right, well, there's been a lot of talk about DeAndre Hopkins being traded from the Cardinals and one of the main suitors being the Kansas City Chiefs. In fact, the Chiefs and the D-Hop talk has really started to heat up recently so much so that even though I made a short video on this a few weeks ago in much more basic fashion, I think it's time for an updated video because yesterday, Benjamin Albright, a Broncos insider with a pretty big social following and some sources around the league, had this to say about a DeAndre Hopkins trade just yesterday. I think there are going to be some painful move-ons. DeAndre mm. Hopkins probably isn't going to be back. From what I'm hearing, Kansas City is the primary suitor there. That's going to be interesting to let them get another weapon. But Do you think for their <laughs> First round pick or their second round pick? I don't know where the, the draft compensation will be that. I don't think you're going to get a first rounder for Hop. I'll just be honest with you. You could probably get a second rounder for it. But I do think Kansas City is, is probably the destination there. We'll, we'll see. I just, you know, like I said, that's a rumor that's floating around out here. So we'll, wow. we'll kind of see where that, where that shakes out. And on top of that, you had Johnny Venerable of Phoenix Sports tweet out, Word in Indy is keep your eyes on the following teams and picks in exchange for DeAndre Hopkins, New England Patriots, pick 46, New York Giants, pick 57, Kansas City Chiefs, pick 63. There could be others that jump in and compensation could always vary, but these names keep coming up. And uh, yeah, I could definitely definitely see why the Chiefs names are coming up. After all, they have several free agent wide receivers at the moment, McCole Hardman, Justin Watson, and then of course, Juju Smith-Schuster with none of these guys being a guaranteed lock to return at the moment. So let's explore both sides of the DeAndre Hopkins trade idea. And then I'll weigh in with some of my own thoughts throughout the way. I recently did a poll on Twitter and on YouTube asking if people would rather trade for D-Hop or re-sign Juju. And here were the results. As of when I'm recording this video, which is eight o'clock, clock on Friday, March 3rd, YouTube had 6,400 votes with 58% saying re-sign Juju, 42% saying trade for D-Hop. So definitely the scale is tipped, at least on YouTube, in D-Hop's favor. Meanwhile, on Twitter, you had 4,400 votes, 37.3% said trade for D-Hop, 42.4% said re-sign Juju, and 20.3% said other. For some reason, I gave people on Twitter and other option just because I was curious if they didn't like the idea of trading for D-Hop or re-signing Juju, what were some of the other thoughts? And here's what they were. Some said draft a wide receiver early instead of either of these moves. Some said, who cares, but don't bring Juju back because of his mean little TikTok videos on the Eagles. Some said, sign Michael Thomas. Some even said, figure a way to get both of these guys on the team because the salary cap is not real. And while I would love for both of them to be in KC and think it would be absolutely incredible, I find that pretty unlikely as there's only so much money to go around, especially when you look at all the free agents the Chiefs have and all the other players that need their contracts reworked. You got Chris Jones. He has one more on his deal, but a $28 million cap hit and an extension talk is probably ongoing. Frank Clark, he has a $28 million cap hit and needs his contract reworked. If not, he needs released. Orlando Brown Jr. is in negotiations for a long-term deal or maybe a tag if they can't get the long-term deal worked out sooner than later. Juan Thornhill's a free agent, as well as Jarek McKinnon, Colin Saunders, and many other. Like, the list goes on, man. There's a lot going on here around uh, Chiefs Kingdom. Anyway, that's not the focus of this video. It's merely Juju Smith-Schuster and DeAndre Hopkins primarily. So let's look at some pro D-Hop views and then reasons why some, including myself for the most part, would be in favor of a Juju Smith Schuster re-signing instead. But first, those in support of a D-Hop trade are saying that even though he's on the wrong side of 30, he'll be 31 in June, his production hasn't really dipped. He's a top 10 or borderline top 10 receiver still, and Mahomes has never thrown to a receiver as great as D-Hop in his career so far. Lance the Spoken, a big supporter of the DeAndre Hopkins trade, says, quote, are there concerns with the Chiefs trading for DeAndre Hopkins? Yes, he's not young, missed games recently due to injury and suspension, but he would give Patrick Mahomes something he's never had, a top 10 wide receiver with size, elite hands, and route running. And without going into a deep dive on the top 10 wide receivers, I don't know right now, currently, if DeAndre is in the top 10, but he's somewhere around there, okay? And I know for all intents and purposes, 
uh, past times here in Kansas City, Tyreek Hill was wide receiver one from a production standpoint. And honestly, he is one of the best wide receivers in the league. But some are saying that Hill isn't really a true wide receiver one. And that is why D-Hop would be a game-changing receiver for Mahomes. Matt Harmon, an analyst for Yahoo Sports, said he just charted DeAndre Hopkins this week and was reminded again how unfair it is that he sometimes gets typecasted, talking about DeAndre as a non-separation receiver because of his crazy catch very underrated route runner, technician, and master of leverage. And I bring that up because a lot of people are saying D-Hop would not fit in the Chiefs' style of offense. Mahomes is not often throwing a bunch of 50-50 jump balls and stuff like that. But this guy is saying that uh, he's very underrated in route running, he's technical and a master of leverage. And then some say D-Hop's cost isn't bad, all things considered, and a second round pick is nothing for him, especially when you look at the production he will bring with him. For two years, he's on a two-year deal. And if you look at his contract, SpotTrack has it listed as follows for any team that wants to trade for him. Two years, $34.3 million non-guaranteed with cap hits of $19.45 million in 2023 and $14.915 million in 2024. And the Cardinals' dead cap would be $22.6 million in 2023 if this happens before June 1st. And if it happens after June 1st, it is split in half at $11.3 million in 2023 and $11.3 million in 2024. So the argument here is D-Hop is a better receiver than Juju, despite his age and the cap hit for him is completely worth it for these couple of years that he has left in the tank. Another pro D-Hop argument is comparing the current trade situation right now to that of Randy Moss back in 07 when the Patriots traded the Vikings for a fourth round pick in exchange for Randy Moss, to which Carrington Harrison said a few things. DeAndre Hopkins is not Randy Moss. The Patriots traded a fourth round pick for Moss and Instead of the second that the Cardinals want, and Moss made three million in year one with New England. And while I will say inflation over the past 15 or so years is a very real thing, and we cannot compare contracts then to now directly, I think the Moss trade was a better deal than the Hopkins trade currently is, and them wanting a second rounder and the current deal he's on. However, if the Chiefs said, we will pick up D-Hop's current contract, but can only give a third and maybe a seventh rounder, or a fourth and a couple of later round picks, and the Cardinals agree, does that make things a little better as far as a trade for D-Hop goes in your opinion? You gotta let me know in the comments down below, man. I know we're gonna get into this, but I know he's shown some injuries recently, but that doesn't mean the decline could be coming like some expect, and he definitely could have some valuable uh, gas left in the tank to contribute here on the Chiefs offense, but we'll, we'll get into that. But while one argument is that D-Hop is too old for the Chiefs to make a move for him, that requires both draft capital and a contract extension to his current deal, uh, because it was reported that D-Hop wants an extension to his current deal in both years and money. Others such as Braden Turner are saying this, it's funny how people talk about Devontae Adams compared to DeAndre Hopkins. They are both the same age, but one of them is somehow quote old and washed. Just say you don't know ball. And I always find that last sentence interesting. Like just say you don't know ball, AKA if you disagree with me, you simply do not know what you're talking about. I mean, I get that Adams and D-Hop are the same age, but dude, Devontae Adams, has uh, seen literally a zero dip in production and is quite possibly the best wide receiver in the entire league, or at the very least, you can make an argument that he is. Just look at his last four years. 2019, 83 receptions for 997 yards and five TDs. 2020, 115 receptions for 1,374 yards and 18 TDs. Good God almighty. 2021, 123 receptions for 1,553 yards and 11 TDs. And finally, in 2022 with the Raiders, 1,516 yards and 14 TDs. Literally zero dip in this man's production and he's basically playing all year every year and then here's d hop's last four years in 2019 at 104 receptions for 1165 yards and seven tds 2020 115 receptions for 1407 yards and six tds again incredible then in 2021 572 yards and eight tds and in 2022 64 receptions for 717 yards and three tds so uh yeah d hop's last two seasons involve a season ending knee injury that required surgery. And then the next season he was suspended for six games for violating the NFL's policy on PEDs. Then the last couple of games this past season, he had a flare up on the same knee he had surgery on the season prior and did not finish because of that. So I'm not really sure you can directly compare one of the best receivers in the league and Devontae Adams, who has shown zero decline whatsoever to DeAndre Hopkins, who's seen a decline 
He really has due to injury that required surgery, a suspension, and then a re-aggravation of that same injury at the end of the previous season, even though he did not play for the first six games and had lots of rest, regardless if they are the same age or not. You can't compare. So yeah, some are concerned that the recent injuries of D-Hop could be signs of him following down the path of Julio Jones. Connor Christofferson said the Titans traded for a 31-year-old Julio Jones in 2021. Jones had 771 yards receiving in 2020, but had 1,394 yards the year before that. He only amassed 434 yards for the Titans. DeAndre Hopkins is 31 years old, and it has been two years since his 1,400-yard season. I am wary. So yeah, I am a bit wary about that as well in these recent seasons with D-Hop. Meanwhile, Juju, he's five years younger, 26. He did get injured and played uh, only a few games for the Steelers in what is that, the 2021 season, um, but came to KC, played for most of the season, dealt with some minor knee stuff. It's always the knees, I guess. And uh, even though he has a bit of an injury history himself, he has shown to be a valuable piece in the Chiefs offense as he racked up nearly a thousand yards just this past season. And he does not require any draft capital via a trade, another pro, and could potentially be around a similar cost or less than DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, maybe he needs a bit more years on the contract than DeHop, who's probably going to be on a two. Juju might be three or four, but you could, you know, work your way in the back half of the contract to, you know, see yourself out if you didn't like Juju's production. Now, the argument about Juju is that he's not as complete of a receiver or as good overall as a receiver as uh, D-Hop is. And while that's a fair criticism, I think I'd still take Juju, who's younger, requires no draft capital, less money in theory, and already has rapport built with Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. And from here, I want to show you a snippet of a recent podcast episode I did with Carrington Harrison about this very topic. Um, he's pretty knowledgeable, man. And we explore some of the the cons of trading for DeAndre Hopkins and what he thinks the Chiefs could get for Juju. Is D-Hop worth a second round pick? He's been hurt a lot, says Anthony. So I looked this up. Patrick Mahomes has thrown a touchdown pass to 12 different wide receivers since he's been the quarterback of the Chiefs. Only one of them has been over 30 years old, and that was Josh Gordon. The Chiefs, like 24 to 26-year-old, 5'11", 195-pound, wiry wide receivers. That's just not what DeAndre Hopkins is. Like, I think DeAndre Hopkins is more like Julio Jones than people want to give credit. Like, look it up. Julio Jones in 2019 was still that guy. Still a top five receiver in the league. Well, 2020, an injury happens. 2021, an injury happens. 2022, and now it's over. Like, nobody wants Julio Jones on their team. So I'd feel different about DeAndre Hopkins if he was a free agent player. Yep, but you got to trade for DeAndre Hopkins, and you have to negotiate a extension for DeAndre Hopkins to try to get his base salary and his cap hit number down. So I don't think DeAndre Hopkins makes a lot of sense. I think it's more name than game at this point. And I just don't think it's in line with the moves that we've seen the Chiefs do over the last five years. The last two seasons, there's only been one other player in the National Football League over 30 who has had 1,000 yards. It's not Travis Kelsey. Tyler Lockett. So okay. like typically when you hit 30, it's kind of over in that sense. Now, I don't think the Chiefs need him to be a 1,000-yard guy. They probably need him to be an 800-yard guy, so I know that changes it just a little bit. The Chiefs have the 63rd overall pick, so that's a late second-round pick. The last time they had the 63rd overall pick, they drafted Creed Humphrey. I just think that DeAndre Hopkins, to me, just makes more sense for a team on a rookie contract. Carrington then goes on to say he doesn't think the demand for Juju Smith-Schuster across the league is going to be as high as we think it is, and because of that, he's going to come back on a pretty friendly deal. I think Juju's going to be back, but I don't think Juju's going to sign for the contract that many people do. Whenever Juju resigns, I don't think we look at that deal as being bad for the Chiefs in any way. Even the MVS deal was, what, three years, $36 million, but it's really a one-year, $12 million deal with an option for a second year. Yeah. That's all it really is. So I think Juju's going to sign something really, really similar. And with all that being said, uh, I want to be clear here, man. I am not going to be mad or upset about this either way. If Juju gets re-signed, great. If Juju gets offered too much money by another team and wants to chase a bag, all right, that's fine. If Veach and company thinks D-Hop is the best way to go for KC, especially if they can talk the Cardinals down to a later round pick and not have to sign D-Hop to an additional extension because this man just wants to come to KC and win a freaking ring, let's go. Or if Veach opts for neither options and instead maybe grabs a receiver in a free agency via a trade or in round one of the draft, uh, great. I'm not really tied to any decision one way or the other, and neither should any of you watching. None of us are Brett Veach. Um, we're just here watching, hanging out, and trying to think 
and process together in the off season when things are a little bit slow, what the Chiefs could do and why. So I just wanted to do a more in-depth piece here on the pros and cons of signing D-Hop and then get your thoughts on the matter. Uh, you gotta let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. Are you Team D-Hop, Team Juju, or other? So let me know and until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Chiefs?